Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I want to teach you how to play this song from Made in Abyss. It's the episode 1, 8 and 9, the insert song. Okay, but anyway, I'll give you the preview of what you're going to learn in today's lesson. It's the section that's really awesome, the chorus section that goes like this. Check it out, here's a preview. repeats itself okay but anyway we're gonna learn this awesome section so this section is broken up into four parts so it's easy to learn so four part the first part goes like this okay for the right hand first part it starts on the G up here so middle C is here for reference we'll go up an octave to this C so on the G there okay so there's five G's that goes one two three four five and then A and then goes G F sharp E D. That's the first part for the right hand. So one more time for this first part. So it goes like this. It goes five G. So one, two, three, four, five A, G, F sharp, A, D. Like that for the right hand. So that's the right hand for the first part. Once you get that, the left hand we have four chords here. The four chords are E minor twice, which is E, G, B. So we have two of them. Followed by two D major chords, which is D, F sharp, A. So two of them as well. Okay, so with those four chords in mind, so two E minor chords followed by two D major chords. The two hands together goes like this. It goes E minor by itself. Right hand comes in. Second G and E minor together. And then A and D major together. E and D major together. Like that. Alright, so that's the first part. One more time for this first part. So it goes like this. It goes here. Two, three, four. Together. So that's the first part. Once you get the first part, let's move on to the second part. Okay, the second part continues like this. Okay, right hand continues up to the B for three times. One, two, three, up to C, B, A, G, A, like that. That's the second part for the right hand. Okay, one more time. So it goes like this, three Bs. One, two, three, C, B, A, G, a, like that for the right hand. So that's the right hand for the second part. Once you get that, the left hand, we have four chords here for the second part. The four chords are, firstly, we have two G major chords, which consist of G, B, D. So we have two of them, so it's our second chord as well. Third chord is A minor, which is A, C, E. And the fourth chord, it's C major, which is C, E, G. Okay, so with those four chords in mind, so G major twice, followed by A minor, followed by C major. The two hands together goes like this. It goes G major by itself. Two. G major by itself again, right comes in, C and A minor together, G and C major together, and that's the second part. One more time for the second part, so it goes like this, here, two, three, four, here, two, three, four, together, two, three, four, together, two, three, four, like that. Okay, so that's the second part. So, so far, the two parts that I've learned will be played back to back like this. Check it out. Sounds awesome already. Let's move on to the third part. Okay, third part, right hand goes like this. It goes A, B, B. And it goes A, G, A, up to D, like that. Okay, that's the third part for the right hand. One more time for this third part for the right hand. So it goes A, B, B, A, G, A, up to D, like that. That's the right hand for the third part. Okay, once you get the third part there for the right hand, Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are two E minor chords, which is E, G, B, so we have two of them, followed by two D majors, once again, it's D, F sharp, A, so two of them. So essentially, these four chords are the same four chords in the first part, if you recall, okay? So exact same four chords. So with that in mind, E minor twice and D major twice, the two hands together goes like this, A and E minor together, E minor by itself, A and D major together, D, D major by itself, just like that. One more time for this third part, so it goes like this, it goes together, here, together, here, like that. Okay, 
guys, that's the third part. So, so far, the three parts that I've learned would be played back to back like this. Check it out, okay? That. Moving on to the fourth and last part of this section, right hand continues down to the B A A G, and then A G F sharp like that. Okay, so that's the right hand for the fourth and last part. So it goes like this: B and then two A's, G, and then A G F sharp like that for the right hand. So once you get that for the right hand, uh, the left hand we have these four chords. Okay, these four chords are different this time, so to learn it. So two C major chords, which is C E G. So two of them. Third chord is G major, G, B, D. Fourth chord is D major, which is D, F sharp, A. So with these four chords in mind, so C major twice, G major and D major. The two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first. Second A and C major together. After G, C major by itself. Right comes in. G and G major together. F sharp and D major together. Just like that. One more time, so it goes like this. Together. Here. And that's it for the fourth part. Okay, so the four parts that we've learned in today's lesson would be played back to back like this. Check it out. Okay, but anyway, yeah, in this song, like, it's really nice, so you can add improvisations to it, like, for me, you can make a big, uh, like, sound more grand, okay? So for left hand, you can do, like, octaves, arpeggios, and all this kind of stuff, combine it, and then right hand can also combine with the chords as well. So, yeah, that's what I did in my cover. So that's the power of, like, how my method works, okay? That's how awesome it is. It's, like, free to do whatever you kind of want to arrange for your own arrangement, okay? But anyway, yeah, so, like, um, I'll, I'll show you how I kind of do it, okay? So here we go. Uh, I'll make up something based on the melody and chords. It's the same thing, but all just a bit more grand, like this. Something like that, okay? So it's like it's different to my cover, but that's the power of improvisation. You can make up whatever you want on the spot based on the melodies and chords, okay? And but anyway, yeah, so if you're interested in learning this type of method, remember that's what I teach. I teach how melodies and chords work for our songs because once you get those backbones of the song like all good, then you can like be free to do whatever you kind of want to do. But anyways, yeah, hope you enjoyed this lesson. Go ahead, check out my other methods and stuff on my website, best piano method. Com. But as for now, I guess, yeah, enjoy your time around my channel. Check out my other piano covers and tutorials on anime songs and stuff. I have so many piano tutorials and stuff. I have over 2,400 videos for you to enjoy. But anyway, yeah, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. 
Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.